Mariah cult does. But look where the Pope takes the imagery in the next paragraph. And you're listening to Michael Savage. I'm going to quote now from my book, Government Zero, page 220. The sister now cries out to us because of the harm we have inflicted on her by an irresponsible use and abuse of the goods with which God has endowed her. That didn't come from St. Francis. It came from the Pope. Or should I say it came from Schnellnuber, as this is straight guy occult nonsense, wherein the earth is alive and human beings are inflicting violence upon her. Schnellnuber's beliefs include a whole range of radical ideas that would horrify most Catholics, which I will continue explaining to you as I read to you from Government Zero, the most important book of this century on this subject of the dangers, the dangerous waters that religion has entered in this new age communism. Back in a minute. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Your Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust for tangible assets, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. Tell that to the Navy SEALs or the Green Berets being purged by Barack Obama as they're being killed by this leftist president. But we're focusing today on uh, Pope Zero who has uh, come to America to lecture us about how evil we are and what we need to do to help the poor and let everyone flood over America and the death penalty, uh, worship Gaia, whatever you want. Whatever they teach you at, at uh, Georgetown University or at Harvard or at Yale or at Berkeley, that's what the Pope is espousing. And most of it doesn't come from the Pope. It came from Schnellnuber, as I've been describing to you, a radical uh, environmentalist, a leftist New Age Gaia type, Gaia worshiper, climate hoax scientist, Hans Joachim Schnellnuber wrote this encyclical upon which the Pope based his laudato si on care for our common home. And he says, the earth is like a mother and a sister, and the sister now cries out to us because of the harm we have inflicted on her by our irresponsible use. I mean, I've, I've abused the planet. I've abused the planet? Why don't you talk to those who are polluting the planet most, which are the people in China? Talk about the pollution of the air and the waters of the places in China, Pope. Go over there and lecture the Chinese, see if they'll receive you very well. You come to this soft nation of idiots and you give us your, your rubbish. Go to China and tell them how bad they are for their industrialization. I am so sick of having to, to mince words about this. The man is a Leninist. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. Something all the anti-Americans, anti-Catholics have wished for all their lives. The seamless marriage between a major religion and their preposterous anti-Americanism. Welcome to The Savage Nation. If you get on with me, you'll reach more people than you've met in your entire life. But there's only one open line at 855-407-282, 855-400-SAVAGE. Also today, everyone who gets on the show will be given a copy of my forthcoming book, Government Zero, which is very important. It's not just a throwaway book. I'm a scholar by training. I spent a lot of time studying this pope. It's not just anti-popism. I've analyzed where his speeches come from. I have shown you who wrote them for him. Like all big men, they don't write their own speeches. Does Obama write his own speeches? No. People have speech writers. Nixon did. Reagan did. Pope Francis has a speech writer. And he has different speech writers for different subjects. And on the issue of the environment, his speech writer is a well-known Gaia worshiper, scientific advisor 
is the radical Gaia worshiper and climate hoax scientist Hans Joachim Schnellnuber. I told you that in the last chapter. It's from pages 219 to 222 of Government Zero. But it's pagan paganism. We all want a clean earth, but we don't worship nature. We don't worship trees. We don't worship rocks. Christianity does not worship rocks. Christianity doesn't worship nature. We respect nature. We don't worship nature. Do you understand that? And uh, Christians don't consider Earth a living organism, as the modern secular Gaia cult does. Now, listen to what comes up in the Pope's encyclical Laudato Si on Care for Our Common Home. The sister, meaning the earth, now cries out to us because of the barn, the harm, sorry, the harm we have inflicted on her by our own irresponsible use and abuse of the goods with which God has endowed her. That didn't come from St. Francis. It, it came from the Pope. But it really came from Schnellnuber. This is straight Gaia cult nonsense, wherein the earth is alive and human beings are inflicting violence upon her. Schnellnuber's beliefs as mouthed, mouthed by Francis include a whole range of of radical ideas that would horrify most Catholics. He sees human beings as a threat that must be diminished. He has said, quote, the carrying capacity of the earth is below one billion people. Did you know that? That's a radical idea. That means what, eliminate four billion people from the earth? Although he's backed away from that statement when confronted by it, but it was written by Schnellnuber. Schnellnuber belongs to a whole subgroup of radical liberal environmentalists who believe the human population must be vastly decreased to save the earth goddess. Did you know any of this? With Schnellnuber advising him and his own Marxist biases, Pope Francis has produced a gargantuan piece of leftist propaganda that includes just about every hard left fallacy ever foisted upon the gullible, including the Gaia cult narrative, the climate change hoax, Marxist thoroughly discredited economic theories, and the standard class warfare our demagogic president promotes every chance he gets. Page 221 of Government Zero. Get a copy while it still can be gotten. Give it to a Catholic doubter. He even manages to work in a deferential reference to Islam, quoting an Islamic poet in a footnote to a passage in the, quote, mystical meaning to be found in a leaf, in a mountain trail, in a dewdrop in a poor person's face. You know, there ought to be, and I'm going to say something that's in my book that's going to be quite controversial, but it's on page 222, and I'm not taking it out. There ought to be an impeachment process for popes when they use the power of their office to mislead the faithful so egregiously. Agree or disagree? I'll go on with Government Zero because I've been waiting for this for months now for the arrival of this false prophet. Let's go to a caller or two on the Savage Nation. Thanks for holding WMAL in Washington. Brent, go ahead. What's on your mind, Brent? Uh, I was wondering if you had actually spoken with a priest or possibly even the uh, the bishop out there in San Francisco um, instead of kind of listening to the uh, twisted rhetoric of the media about, about Excuse what... Excuse me, sir. Sir, what are you talking about? I am the media. I'm not quoting anybody. I'm reading from my own book. Okay. It, it sounds like you're, you're taking the rhetoric of the, the liberal media instead of... Going to the sir, sir, what you are, you're a, you're a true believer who didn't hear a word I said for the last hour, did you? You didn't listen to one word. No, I... The, the, I the, what is, did the Catholic Church send out a memo for you to read on shows like mine? There was, um... Uh, sir, I just read to you my analysis of the Pope's writings on the environment and the poor, and I showed you where his writings came from. Did you hear that or not? Yes, but I'm not going to take your word for it. I'd have to check that out myself. Um, well, go ahead, check it out yourself. Do you know who Schnellnuber is? is? He's talking about creating... Wait, sir, listen to me. Listen to me. Don't... Please. Do you know who Schnellnuber is? Have you ever heard of him before? We have an impact on the earth. That's I asked you a question. Do you know who Schnellnuber is, yes or no? I know who he is from what you said. Now, are you saying I'm inventing the man? Uh, he's probably a real man, but I do not know of his ties to the Pope except what you have put forth. 
Well, then you learn something. Are you open-minded enough to see if I invented it just to be a wise guy? Or if I'm trying to warn you and the rest of the world as to the radical inclinations of this pope? I will go check him out and see about it. Are you open enough to go talk to a yeah, I'll, No, no, no. I hope you're open enough to receive a free copy of the book because I have footnotes and references to everything I just said on my show because I am a scholar by training. I don't make stuff up. Stay on the line. You get a free book. References to everything I just said. Schnell Nuber is real. I am the media. And I am not a leftist. Okay? So I'll go on now. He then attacks the population of the earth. He then confirms the real agenda behind the global warming hoax. Quote, to blame population growth instead of extreme and selective consumerism on the part of some is one way of refusing to face the issues. It is an attempt to legitimize the present model of distribution. Distribution, pay attention to that. Where a minority believes what it has the right to consume in a way which can never be universalized since the planet could ne not even contain the waste products of such consumption. Do you have any idea what he just said? That's right out of Karl Marx. Isn't that convenient? Pope says we need a different model of distribution. What does that mean, all you faithful Catholics? Do you, are you intelligent enough to understand what it means? It means government redistribution of wealth. Because if everyone consumed as much as the minority, meaning the rich, there would be too much waste. This is so illogical, it's hard to know where to start. But I'll write it out for you. 222, 223 of Government Zero. First, the Pope conveniently forgets that rich people consume more because they produced more for other people. A billionaire acquires his billions by providing billions of dollars in products to his customers, by and large, by the way. Not all of them do. George Soros, for example, provides nothing. He does it by trading currency, but put that on the side. The Pope nonchalantly implies this minority of the rich doesn't have a right to spend money they've earned by providing products of equal value to other people. How can that be? When a businessman exchanges $1 million in products for $1 million in money, why do his customers have a right to consume $1 million in products if he has no right to consume the money he received in exchange for them? These are garden variety socialist fallacies, but the Pope doesn't end there. He actually trots out one of Marxist theories that is so discredited even modern day Marxists have backed away from it. Let me read it to you. Production, I'm quoting your Pope now, the false prophet in, in Washington. He said, quote, quote, production is not always rational and is usually tied to economic variables which assign to products a value that does not necessarily correspond to their real worth. You like that one? So that means that a house could be too expensive because, hey, that's speculation. You should have all houses looking exactly the same produced uh, by the government. One gigantic government housing project. This frequently leads to an overproduction of some commodities with unnecessary impact on the environment and with negative results on regional economies. Ladies and gentlemen of the Savage Nation, Marx's theory of overproduction was a foundational plank in Das Kapital, or capital in English. Marx argued that a capitalist system results in firms producing so much that they force down the price of their own goods, thereby diminishing profits and ultimately necessitating layoffs. Completely the opposite of the reality of our economic system. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Marx's theory doesn't even make logical sense in a classroom. But academia still hangs on to Marx's lunatic ravings, even after history has proven him wrong again and again. And I'm not going to read it to you because it's not rocket science. Regardless, because the Pope is still pushing the same program as our Marxist president. He wants the most productive people in America and other first world nations to lower their living standards, to accommodate wealth redistribution to third world nations even as he and the golfer in chief continue to live like kings, just as Stalin did in his communist paradise, and somehow this will also save the world from global warming. This is the same reasoning that produced the war on poverty in America, which has given us record numbers of people on food stamps and other forms of government, government welfare. Obama, the Pope, and the rest of the Marxist progressives want to employ the same model on a worldwide scale. Heaven help us if they succeed. That's the end of the chapter. 
called Zero Religion. I then go into Zero Science in the next chapter, which I'm not going to read to you today. And I'm through reading from Government Zero. I'm going to ask you again to buy a copy on Amazon and give it to a friend.